when designing a system that needs to operate in hazardous environments, achieving the highest level of redundancy has invariably been the ultimate goal. The followings are generally the main goals of redundant system implementation. First, setting up multiple backups of each component. Second, designing software that detects failure of the main system. Third, performing switch over to the backup component or components. The figure shows the typology of the solution designed for an oil well. There are three controllers hard connected to the three switches, and two of the three switches are connected to MOBUS gateway or device servers at the control center. The device servers on MOBUS gateway is then hard connected to end devices such as MOBUS flow meters. The most common approach is to implement a redundant protocol within the logic of the controllers. In the implementation of this particular redundancy protocol, it, it is critical to synchronize all of the controllers in order to ensure they always access the same MOBUS gateway at any given time. If this is not done, two MOBUS gateways operating simultaneously will cause a data collision on the RS4A5 bus. Whenever the MOBUS TCP stream of the main MOBUS gateway fails, the controllers automatically switch to the backup gateway. However, the design of these protocols can often be very complex and hard to verify. Adventech has cooperated with its partner and has proposed a new design to simplify this deployment with the development of virtualized redundancy MOBUS Gateway VRMG technology. This provides a single virtualized interface for all controllers for which the synchronization process is handled in the background of our MOBUS gateways, thereby significantly reducing the complexity of the system The idea of the VRMG, Virtualized Redundant MOBUS Gateway, is to create a virtualized MOBUS gateway with a single virtualized IP address. In the background, multiple MOBUS gateway use a heartbeat protocol to select a gateway to handle the virtualized IP address. The heartbeat protocol not only selects the owner of the virtual light interface, but has the critical rule of detecting if failure of each individual MOBUS gateway occurs. Thus, in the event that gateway 1 fails, Gateway 2 immediately detects the failure and claims the ownership of the virtualized IP. To expand the system configuration for cases where a higher level of reliability is needed, VRMG can also support up to four redundant MOBUS gateways. VRMG shares the same design that has made REMI, Redundancy Enhanced MOBUS idea successful, where virtualization is utilized to provide a single interface for multiple controllers. This significantly reduces the complexity of the system design. By building solution on top of VRMG, our partner can build up redundant system with the simplest design, which accelerates development and variation, thus creating an even more reliable system than ever. For more product information, you may visit www.adventech.com or contact us at icg.support at adventech.com.tw.